there were times when I was borrowing money off family to, to cover the business rates when I first started because it's a it kicks in straight away um, the VAT bill you have a, a bit of play with and, and everything yeah. but the business rates bang they kick in so if you have just opened a business then it should be in a stage where you're doing the place up should you really be paying rates whilst you're doing somewhere up and should there be a little bit of bedding in time so that you can get the business on its feet? It would have helped if we had that little bit of relief and especially in the six months when we weren't trading so there was no money coming in, there was only money going out and yet we had to still pay every month, six months, um, half of what we pay for rent here um, as business rates and then maybe some discount for the first year or for the six months or so something like that I think would, would probably work and encourage people to, to um, set up businesses in the empty units that are all over the place. So. <laughs> I do think that especially the small business rates relief scheme is appropriate um, and massively beneficial to smaller businesses, uh, independent high street retailers that need to keep their overheads down really. So with, the, with the reliefs, um, they, they always say small business relief, which is, is 12,000 and below. In England, it's 15,000. It's been upped recently in the last budget. Um, so we're already at an unfair advantage in Wales to, to England. So we're in competition. And somewhere like Wrexham, that's a border. It's very attractive to a business. Maybe to open 10 miles up the road where your business rates are going to be a, maybe possibly a little bit cheaper. They've introduced relief for small business rates, but what is a small business? I, mean, I employ 50 people, I'm not classed as a small business, so I don't get that business rates relief. The people that are getting hammered here aren't the small businesses, and I'm talking people who might, you know, they work from a very small unit, and they're probably dealing online or something. Yeah. I'm talking about now people in the middle of town centres, busy cities, that are in the medium business category, that are the 12,000 and above. Um, I think there should definitely be a relief scheme available to growth businesses that are looking to employ more people. Panma er um elu business and gostung mar hai kal naruvatho o um relief am am um, aki adlwarchiani uh alwch chi ddim disgwyl i fusnesu i i allu talu um talu trwy troi na brydau uh, and I would say looking at obviously raising the threshold to whatever, whatever it's required, £20,000 plus, certainly um, more than 15000 as in England, why not be better than England? One thing I would just like to add is that um, the appeal process needs to be looked at. Uh, I've had an appeal in now for uh, nearly two years. Um, I could appeal that, but to be honest, I just felt at the end, I thought, well, I just don't understand any of it in order to appeal some. I can't appeal something I don't understand. How many businesses are out there that fold during that appeal process yeah. that's taken so long? We didn't go about the process of appeal. We didn't have to do anything in the world, but we didn't have to Dulce a Kangores here, what an Roy Muyo we bought at Sanarna. How much of the money generated in the county yeah. of Wrexham in business rates comes back to Wrexham? And that would probably make it a little easier to swallow if we actually knew where our money was going and what it was doing and what benefits we were having from it. The next rates that are coming out at the end of this month ready for April next year we don't even know if they're going up down what incentives are coming out there's just been a complete lack of communication and I would say a lack of consultation yeah. with with the people of of Wales but now it's been devolved to the Welsh Assembly the business rates yeah what that... have they done with it uh, don't forget when we pay business rates we don't get anything back in return absolutely nothing no rubbish collection not a thing. So the business rates are a cost to the businesses that there's no return whatsoever.
actually saying that everything in the rating world needs to be much more sensitive to changing market conditions. Businesses have to make a decision within a minute, an hour, a day, a week. We can't wait two years for things to occur which really ought to be undertaken much more quickly. They, they're just not reflective of the current market. Um, and I think because they've been pushed back and pushed back and pushed back, we've fallen out of touch. I think they're very old fashioned. A successful business rates policy would be based on a calculation of the company's um, financials and profitability rather than the rateable value of the premises that they're currently working out of or the premises that they potentially want to move into. We've just opened the Honeypot for argument's sake and the first thing we get is we're paying rates. There was no discussion or anybody coming to see us to see how much of the shop we're using, what we're, we're using, how many staff we have. I don't know if I'm going to go to the shop, but I'm going to go to the shop and I'm going to go Likes of Weatherspoons, as the all the big shops in the area, and for instance the arcade that we have, and some of the other local businesses that are quite large, but not on the same scale, and obviously don't have the same profit margins and turnovers. Should they be paying a lot more and maybe putting more into the community when they come here, not just building a shop that's going to take all the money from the other little shops that have been here for years, which if you walk around the town now, you'll find they're all gone. The profit margin means that we could employ more people in this business, but I can't afford to because of a direct result of the high business rates. If there was some kind of discount in the first year to get things rolling, because at the end of the day we are employing people, we are adding to the community, the life of the community. This building was empty since it was built, which is quite a few years ago. Um, so we're utilising a space that has just been sitting there for years. And when you're looking at something like £1,700 a month, that's £1,700 that you could be investing into employment. To move into nearby Hembler Square, which is looking rather derelict, I would love to do that, but I'm put off by the rates. The rates there are huge. So that's one area, expanding my business. It stops me. Second one is the rates provide me with competition beneath me from smaller businesses that aren't paying rates. Your high street in Swansea is sparse. Um, empty units, no one likes to see that, and especially areas like high street. then all will be the Welsh Government's priority for business rates should be to help small businesses in town centres throughout Wales because town centres are dying and uh, they should be the heart of the community. The high street is no longer the place to, to have a shop, really. It's more, as in Bukele, it would be more on the Myers. And when you look at that, there's lots of places there that are under a certain square footage, so they don't pay anything. And yet that's the place to be now. Uh, I know that councils need to have income from um, things like car parking, but shouldn't they be uh, having car parking charges in retail parks? Because retail parks have an unfair advantage over town centres. My own boys think, my boys think, yeah, but because I'm car do car loan and can all the on well business coverage where my my average health on on well now dig now dig people can't on client they need go for travelling on car. I did have three businesses. Um, we've closed one down. Um, partly because of business rates and, and relocation of anchor stores onto retail board parks. Specifically for this um, area, there's a lot of empty buildings. Um, um, so I think the fact that people are utilising some of the spaces that have been empty for a long time, there should be some 
some relief there. Every town centre throughout Wales, well, throughout the whole country, needs diversity of business. The only way we're going to get diversity of business is to attract new businesses into town, and the best way to do that is reduce business rates. But if you want a lot of local, <coughs> independent shops and traders, then you have to realise that the business rates policy as it stands is far too crude, far too expensive. Why not slash business rates in that area of High Street? There are a lot of small units there. Why not slash the business rates there or maybe get rid of them altogether, but only allocate those units to independents? Say, for example, you know, we've got a huge university population in Swansea. Some people who are leaving university, give them their start-up, give them a start-up business, give them a unit with no business rates, give them a bit of a head start. Even if they have on a short-term let for six months, give them that opportunity to see what business is like and get, dip their toe in the water. So look at incentives to encourage landlords to spend money on doing the frontage of shops up so they look nice and give a nicer perception of, of town centres that are struggling. On the periphery of the town centre, there is nil business rates. In the town centre, we are being hit with excessive business rates. I'm not saying that the businesses on the edge of town should uh, pay huge rates, but if they paid a small contribution to rates, then the town centre businesses could have a reduction, and that would be uh, a, a lot easier for businesses in the town centre to operate.